In order to write text on the turtle screen, all we need to do is to say t.write and the text that we want to write. For example, here t.write python is cool. When I run this code, I get on the screen python is cool. Now, this appears at 00, 0 because remember my turtle gets created at 00. 0. In fact, we can control this much more closely by using uh, you know, some other arguments. Uh, the write function has got four arguments that we can use. Always best to learn this with examples. So let's just go back here. Let's say I replace this statement with a slightly longer statement where I'm telling the text to write. Uh, I have this argument called move. We'll talk about this alignment as well as the font. Now when I run this, I, I get Python is cool and it's in a certain you know format. Let's say I try to change this for font to say Vardana um, and I make it larger. Let's say I make it 18 and let's see what happens now. So when I run this thing, this time round, notice it comes much bigger, but I can also go and let's say italicize this. So I just go and say, for example, uh, italic. And, you know, uh, let's say I change the font as also to say something like courier. And if I did this again, I will get the same text, but written in a different style. Alignment basically means with respect to where the turtle is, which is in this case, zero, zero how the text gets written. So now let's say I were to choose to say align it center. Uh, so C -E N T E R. If I did this and run this again, this time round, you'll notice that the zero zero point will become the center. That's where the turtle is and the text gets written so that the center point is zero zero. I can also try to align it, say, right. Now in this case, the zero zero point becomes the rightmost point. So if I run this, uh, as always, it's, you know, Python is cool. I align this back to left and I run this again. If I were to make the move as true, usually move is false, so we can just leave it there. If I were to make the move as true, then basically what happens is that the turtle will move to the end of the text that's being written. So here, when I run this, it says Python is cool and the turtle, notice, moves to the extreme right now remember by default turtle's pen is down that's why when it moves it you know creates this line now it depends on how you want to control this where you want to write the next line and so on and so forth uh, accordingly you can choose to use the move but you must do the pen up if you were to move it without the underline so i'm just going to make the move uh, i'm going to make move false for now i'm just going to show you like a little bit more so i just say for example t dot pen up uh, so, you know, because by default pen is down. So I said T dot go to, for example, say, uh, you know, minus 100 and 100. And I go and also say T dot pen color to, let's say, red. Now, if I were to do all this, then the same text will get written in red color at a different location. Um, you know, now it's red color. It's written at minus 100, 100 because that's where this turtle is. It started from here and it wrote the text. Clearly, this is very, very powerful. Before I wrap this up, I just want to highlight. So for the font, we have several options. There may be more, but I've tried these since I'm listing them here. Similarly for the style. So we did try normal in italic, but you can also try bold, underline and so on. Finally, just take a moment to do a little bit of a compare and contrast. When we did the writing of text on screen using Scratch, it was a very tedious process. First, we created the costumes and we wrote elaborate code to clone those costumes or stamp those costumes to, you know, uh, on the screen. But here it's a lot, lot, lot simpler. And in fact, clearly Turtle wins in this aspect. Uh, take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.